The impact of racism in the workplace is not well understood in the United Kingdom. And in particular, the profound emotional and psychological costs that are inflicted on the victims of racism in workplace. The reality is, is that people's lives are destroyed, uh, confident people are rendered low uh, uh, with the fine mental health capacities suddenly find themselves being immersed into depression. We just heard interviews, haven't we, of the most profound nature describing the emotional uh, trauma uh, and nightmare that black workers have to go through. And this next case is another illustration from that. Carl Grant, he worked for Circo. They've got an employment contract with the Transport for London, which is ultimately Sadiq Khan's uh, contract. And here we find uh, an insight, an example of what happens when Carl Grant complained that he was the victim of racial and physical abuse in his day-to-day -day job. Hi, my name's Lee Jasper. This is Brixton, London, and you're watching Lee Jasper Drive Time. I've been employed by Serco since the start of the London Cycle Hire Scheme. It's attributed to Boris, but I think it was Ken Livingstone's idea. I've been with Serco, which is now about nine years, and um, a totally unblemished record with them, never absent from work. I'm employed as a redistribution operative. That means I'm involved with the redistribution of the bikes, um, which is a very, very busy service. Um, so one day I just dropped off some bikes at one of our uh, uh, docking stations when I, I was about to get back into my vehicle when I felt something hit me in the back of my head. So I turned and looked and there was just two young white boys walking along. Um, there was no one else in the vicinity that could have thrown an object at me. I wasn't standing below a building where something may have dropped out of that, you know, and I turned to the, them and I said, you're lucky I didn't see you. And I emphasized on that, that I didn't see you, almost giving them an opportunity to deny throwing the object. So instead of them taking that opportunity, they turned to me and said, shut up, you black cunt. And I said, I beg your pardon? Shut up, you black cunt. And then they just casually carried on walking. And I think that casually carrying on walking offended me even more. And in that state of mind, in that humiliated state of disbelief, I got in my vehicle and I drove towards them and then they ran. And, uh, but immediately as I, I stopped my vehicle, I rang my depot and I told them exactly what had happened, including my driving towards these boys. And I asked them for the urgent assistance of the, the police. So they asked me to hold on. About 10 minutes later, whilst waiting there. In fact, by now the boys had come back and started throwing objects at my vehicle. Um, I got a f the, the office called me back saying, asking me if I'm okay. And I've said, have you called the police? Um, are you okay? I've said, have you called the police? No. I didn't want to leave the scene having, you know, got back, come back to my senses and the general public seeing me driving my vehicle towards these. And in view of what had happened in recent times, I wanted the police on scene. Uh, so they told me to come back to the depot and um, the team leader eventually called the police. When the police did arrive at the office and having heard what, I, what had happened, including my driving towards them, their immediate response was, it's a shame that they weren't called to attend the scene because they would have dispatched officers immediately to come and search the area looking for the... because uh, no one was supposed to be subjected to that kind of abuse or assault whilst out there doing their, doing their job. Uh, however, my employers decided to take a different um, uh, approach. They suspended me from, from, from my job because they hadn't, he had failed to follow any of the company's um, policies and procedures in, in gathering their report. The, the procedures said the report must not include anyone's opinion. It must be based only on facts and circumstantial evidence. The other thing was, the, again, the policy and procedures stated you must not make any recommendations about disciplinary, and he concluded his report by saying, in, in relation to Cole Grant, 
disciplinary action should be initiated um, based on the findings of this report. And then to be treated the way that I have, it has left me feeling absolutely worthless. When we went to the disciplinary hearing, I pointed these failures out to the disciplinary manager. The outcome was that she decided to demote me from my job, to, suspect, uh, to, to reduce my salary by £3,000, and then subject me to six months of conditions, one of which included anger management courses. If they went by their policies and procedures, we wouldn't be here. For me, that's a... That's a further insulting humiliation to say that as a black person, I'm not entitled to feel angry at being assaulted both physically and racially on street by a white person. So I totally um, refuse to accept that. I've um, also presented a case or a claim for race discrimination to the Employment Tribunal. And despite the clear um, failure in, in, and, and dis discrimination in their case, they um, nonetheless dis dismissed my appeal. So it, without sort of community support, I think this is the sort of thing that they, they can go on getting away with. Again, listening to Carl Grant there, we get uh, huge insight into uh, exactly how the script can flip when you are the victim of racism in the workplace. Listen, uh, I hope you get to his employment tribunal. Do follow him on his uh, Facebook page and make sure you sign up to get more information. And the same with this channel. Trust me, the content that we have got planned for you over the next few weeks is going to blow your mind. And make sure you press like, subscribe and the bell uh, for what is emerging as one of the most exciting news channels to come left field on the uh, YouTube uh, platform here on Apparat TV. Make sure you subscribe and like. Stay with us for more exciting stories. Over the next few weeks, we have got content that will blow your mind. Make sure you stick with us.